Hi everyone, Tony from Hack the Movies here, and today we're going to talk about Jason X. He finally made it to space. Finally. Do you keep getting all these spam emails and robocallers? You probably got your data harvested by a data broker. It happens to the best of us. But when it happens to me, I get an alert from today's sponsor, Aura. It's how I protect my data from hackers, scammers, and spammers. We all love surfing the web, but there's another web, a dark web, a hive of scum and villainy where criminals sell your stolen information. Aura constantly monitors the dark web looking for your emails, passwords, and social security number, and sends alerts to your phone or email when they find anything. As you see here, they found my email was in a couple data breaches. It will also request to remove your information from data brokers and reduce the spam and robocalls you receive. It also acts as a VPN and has an antivirus software. Let Aura do the hard work when it comes to keeping yourself safe online. If you sign up right now with my link, you'll get a two week free trial. You'll be shocked at how much of your private information Aura finds exposed over those two weeks. Go to aura.com slash hack the movies to start your free trial also linked below, or scan this QR code. Stay safe, everyone. Hello, Johanna. Hello, Tony. Hello, Monica. Hi, Tony. And welcome to your first Friday the 13th episodes. Oh, it's <sighs> the first for both of us. Yes, yeah. it's the first for both of us. Both of you. Uh, <laughs> both of us. <laughs> for both of us. Actually, no, I'm, I'm actually not for me. It's my fourth time, really. Uh, we usually do these in threes, but uh, we decided... Um, well, one, because I love money, let's do multiple episodes. And two, there's just a lot to say about Jason X, isn't there? There's just, you can't just cram that down. Jason X, there's a lot to say. It's so good. Because <laughs> I feel like if we try, trying to cram Jason X, Freddy versus Jason in the remake, that's Ooh. a little, that's a little yeah. rough. That's a, It was easier with the other ones where they're like, all right, well, this is just another dumb sequel, but he's here now. But no, there's a, there's a lot going on in these three. So we need to space them out. So this Friday the 13th, we are dealing with Jason X. This is, I believe, your favorite. This is my favorite. <laughs> Monica, what, what are your thoughts on Jason X? You know I'm a sucker for anything in space. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody that gets murdered in space, I am here for. <laughs> Just any, so that's Except robots. I don't like what oh, robots, like what robots are, but like that's your thing. All right, if someone gets murdered in space, that's a good movie for you. It's a good movie, yeah. Oh, okay. Leprechaun. <laughs> leprechaun. Well, I was gonna say, Johanna was in the Leprechaun in Space episode, and Monica did a Leprechaun in Space commentary track <laughs> with me. So you guys are up to date on space horror right here. Mm. I'm trying to think of bad. There's bad space horror movies though. Mm. Dracula three thousand. I dare you to say that that's a good movie. I don't think I've watched Dracula 3000. You might have a hard time. <laughs> you might be like, all right, Tony, this might be the one that's bad. <laughs> all right. Uh, but yes, Jason X, this was made at a weird time in Friday the 13th. They, they had just sent Jason to hell. And the plan was for him to verse Freddy. But they were having like a really hard time getting Freddy versus Jason off the ground. Even though but like the same studio owned both now. They could do it at any time for whatever reason they kept dragging their feet. Uh, and in between they had killed Freddy, but then they kind of like brought him back in the meta sequel, New Nightmare, which like isn't really Freddy, but kind of is. So they needed something to remind people Jason is a thing. Hmm. This is what they came up with. They threw him in space. They <laughs> threw him in space. <laughs> this is directed by the late uh, James Isaac. Because I wrote Jason Isaac, but we found out that Jim Jim Isaac, uh, he worked on special effects for things like Return of the Jedi, Arachnophobia. He was like a big special effects guy. He worked on a lot of um, David Cronenberg films, which explains why David Cronenberg is in this movie. He did it as like kind of like a favor, but he insisted that his character be killed. What a favor! Yeah. <laughs> Like I love really like, owed him. Yeah. Because it is weird that like if you don't know who David Cronenberg is, I guess it like it's whatever, but if you know who David Cronenberg is, it's like, oh, that's legendary horror director David Cronenberg in a cameo. Now he's dead. But he did it because like um Jim Isaac was his protege. Jim Isaac has since died. Uh so he's the late Jim Isaac. Uh this was written by Todd Farmer 
uh, who wrote other great films like the My Bloody Valentine remake. The 3D hmm. one? The 3D one. Oh, I really like that movie, actually. You fucking would. Um, <laughs> I saw it in theaters on Valentine's Day. <laughs> so did I. Uh, and Drive Angry, starring Amber Heard and Nicolas Cage. Uh, and I think he acts in Drive Angry. I think he's Amber Heard's like boyfriend in that movie. I've never seen Wait, it. Wait, really? Yeah. Have you seen Drive Angry? I mean, I've seen bits and pieces. For some reason, I don't know why. It's a pretty dumb movie. <laughs> pretty freaking dumb movie. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I was pumped for this movie when it was coming out. I was following the production of it online. This is like when I was like really starting to use the internet to like follow movies. Uh, and it took forever to come out. They completed filming in 2000. And then it sat on a shelf. There was apparently like a bunch of stuff going on at New Line. There was like a CEO that got fired or whatever. So it didn't get released till summer 2001 in like Europe and then didn't make its way to America until uh, I think summer of 2002. So at that point, huh. the whole movie was already spoiled. People were like leaking it and whatnot. Just darn your appearance. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Um, yeah, but then apparently it hit video. So this is like one of the most expensive Friday movies ever made. It bombed and then it hit the home video market and it just like exploded. I think it became like one of the biggest successes <laughs> back when that was still possible. That's no longer possible yeah. now. Uh, and I helped because I bought the DVD. There it is right there. There it is right there. Did you buy the DVD? No, I don't have the DVD. Wow. And I thought it was your favorite. They're streaming services now. I don't need a physical thing. <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so how excited were you guys for this to come out? Oh, back in 2000? Yeah, or 2001 um, and 2002. You know, the three years it took to come out. Did not give a shit. How about you? Yeah, no, I didn't. And I don't think I saw this until like probably like eighth grade. So 2003. Wow. So, and then I saw it and then I was like, holy shit, this is awesome. <laughs> I'm willing I, to bet you made me watch it. Uh, that's possible. I was upset that I didn't get to see this in theaters. Our, our good friend Anthony got to see it in theaters. And I was oh, like, really? you, you dick, I really wanted to see it. <laughs> that's okay. I got to see Halloween Resurrection that year. Hmm. I think it's even better than Jason X. I'm a big Resurrection fan. I have a name for Resurrection fans, but I can't say it because it can get you canceled. Uh, but if you want to know what I have to say about Resurrection, check out uh, our review on Movie Dumpster. I did Halloween Resurrection on Movie Dumpster. This film broke new ground. Yeah, it did. <laughs> <laughs> Not just for Jason. Uh, this is the first like feature length movie to be completed entirely digitally. Like uh, before they explained it in like the making of before you would like scan a scene that needed a visual effect shot and put it into the computer. Mm. This one, they're like, we're scanning the entire film. The entire film is being scanned. We're editing it digitally and whatnot. Uh, so it's weird to think that like Jason X is the first movie that did that. It's like, oh, cool. Thought it'd be for like some bigger movie, like the Star Wars movies were being This made. is a big movie. Because <laughs> it was either you were shooting on film and digitizing parts of it, or you were shooting all digital. This is the one that kind of like married the two. Uh, yeah. And uh, it came out. And now we're going to talk about it. <laughs> mm. Jason X, because it's the 10th movie, and also X because because uh, it's extreme. Did you just make that up, or is it a tagline for the movie? No. No, the tagline, <laughs> the tagline is evil gets an upgrade. Oh, really? Oh. Which I want to mention when we get to a certain line in this uh, movie. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, I don't know why it's called Jason X other than it's the 10th movie. But the other movies aren't called Jason. So when New Line bought the the rights to Jason, they only had the rights to Jason. They didn't have rights to the name Friday the 13th or any of the other characters. It was just Jason. Well, maybe they got rid of like Fridays in space and they couldn't do Friday the 13th. <laughs> <laughs> so they got rid of so in space after Earth goes, they renamed all the days <laughs> four hundred and was it four hundred fifty five years or like, eight, it was like twenty sleep or whatever twenty four fifty five or something yeah something like that <laughs> what's the what's the name for Friday now what did they replace Friday with X <laughs> it's X day 
<laughs> oh, it's another X day. They're my favorites. <laughs> 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 it's just all letters of the alphabet. <laughs> anyway, uh, Jason X, it starts off. Uh, we think we're in hell, which is appropriate because that's where Jason went to in the last movie. Remember? Uh, I miss the uh, long like intro shots like like this head. In the, like, movies oh, in like general. an opening title yeah. sequence. Yeah. They don't do it anymore. Yeah, like a lot of movies just want to like get started sometimes. That's why a lot of movies like uh, the Marvel films will have like two titles. They'll have like the fancy and because like Guild, because of the Director's Guild and whatnot, you have to play the credits twice. So yeah. you'll see like in a Marvel movie, the, the movie will just start. And then the end, there's that whole animated title sequence and then the normal title mm. sequence because they're like, all right, let's just put them back to back at the end. But yeah, it's better in the beginning of a movie. That way, if you like forgot to buy something at the concession stand, you can run out and grab it. Mm. Or you have to pee and you're like, all right, well, this is going to go on for like a minute. Let me run and do that. Can't do that with movies anymore. I just get up and go. Yeah, no, I've gotten to the point where like, I'm just, I've gotten to the point where I'm like, it's I'm, a three hour movie. I'm just, I'm like, yeah, they're talking. I'll, I'll figure it out when I get back. <laughs> I can't miss that much. <laughs> All the movies I see in theaters, like I kind of know what's going on they come when out I get on, like streaming like three months later anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> well, that was like me with like Halloween ends. I'm like, I had to pee like a couple times. And I'm like, I'll just watch it on Peacock tonight and I'll figure out <laughs> what, what I missed. <laughs> what if you missed the wrestling scene? <laughs> if I would have missed the wrestling scene, the drunk bro fight in Halloween ends, I would have killed myself. <laughs> Did you see Halloween ends? No. M Michael Myers gets a buddy. And then they they have a drunken bro fight. It's the first time Michael That's Myers so Michael Myers literally is in a fight where he's trying not to kill the person. They're just having an argument. <laughs> it's just, it's 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 literally <laughs> it's literally it reminds me of when like I would get drunk in college and me and my friends would like wrestle wrestle and whatnot. <laughs> okay, I, I didn't something. do that with my friends in college. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, the one, no, the one college party, I found out that uh, my one roommate was also a wrestler in high school. So we were like, let's wrestle right now. Yeah, wrestling. Got it. Yeah. 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 We're yeah. off track here. <laughs> You're making me rethink my college experience. <laughs> well, it was just a normal guy thing to do. Anyway, um, where was I? Oh, yeah, we're in hell. We're in hell, but it's actually not hell. It's Jason's brain. Which is hell. I kind of like that, though. That was kind of cool. That was kind of <laughs> cool. Well, I, I thought they were going to, like, show him getting out of hell. But they just don't. They, I guess I guess they save that for Freddy versus Jason. That was the whole thing. Freddy versus Jason canonically is before this. So it was like a big mystery. Actually, I thought that actually kind of annoyed me. Because I'm like, well, now Freddy versus Jason can't have a canonical winner because Jason's still yeah. alive. Unless we're to a, I, I, this movie's existence means that Jason won in the end. Unless Freddy also went to space, I'm not sure. I'm waiting for that movie. Mm, <laughs> Freddy in space, yeah. Now. Huh? I want that to happen now. Yeah. <laughs> Bring Robert Englund back. <laughs> He's gotta go to space. We're gonna go to the next like Monster Mania and be like, "Can you make Freddy in space?" <laughs> <laughs> Freddy X. <laughs> Fred X. Fred X. <laughs> it's gonna be Fred X. X. <laughs> Fred X or like Ted X or SpaceX. Fred X. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> anyway, um, Jason's fleshier than he has been in the previous films because he's like yeah. he's like a zombie in Part Six. He was getting a little fleshy and Jason goes to hell, but now he's got like his eye is back. He just looks kind of like a dude. I think I'm very confused by what you mean. He's fleshier. Like he looks like he looks more now like a deformed person, yeah, not like a more zombie. Yeah, like more like bumps and stuff all over him. Yeah, because yeah. he literally looked like a corpse in the three okay. previous films. So like, now he just looks like a dude. Got it. A gross dude, but a dude nonetheless. With black goo. Yes, uh, and it's Kane Hodder. The last time he played Jason in a film, and he was a shoe in for Freddy versus Jason. And then the last minute, they're like, "Nah." I still think that's pretty mean. But yeah, no, he's back for this. He can't be killed. And he's at the Crystal Lake Research <laughs> Center. I knew someone was going to laugh. The Crystal Lake Research Center. So this lake is really good for summer camps and researching Scientific genetic research. material. There's a lot of shit that's happened at that camp. So. 
<laughs> yeah, that actually would be a good place to go. It's like, all right, there's, there's some weird shit that happens here. Uh, this is apparently 2010. Yeah. Um, which I'm a little confused at because the continuity in Friday the 13th is so what, terrible. Don't. I'm pretty sure Friday the 13th part nine, the Jason goes to hell. I, I, I assume that takes place in the year 3000 continuity wise. Uh, but no, now this is 2010. So he's there. They just have him chained up. Uh, and I like how the guard is like freaked out at him. So he just throws a jacket over his face. Well, I mean, I kind of like they like kept making eyes at each other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And Jesus giving him like the eye. Like, hey. Yeah. They like had a back and forth. They're like, yeah. Yeah. And my then thing he goes is, over. My thing is like they keep the mask on him. Do you want to stare at that face? I but mean, he, they do say later on he is ugly. Yeah. He is ugly, but he <laughs> is like, like a poor baby and puts uh, yeah, it back yeah. on. He is like a prisoner and they're like experimenting on him. I think his mask would be long gone by now, but reminds me of Halloween 5 when they put Michael Myers in a jail cell and he's still wearing his mask. Like, you would take that off. Like, you wouldn't leave that on he's him. He's self-conscious. <laughs> they make an exception for him. They're like, all right, you can have the mask on, guy who murdered 800 people or whatever. Um, so yeah, he throws a jacket over his face and then David Cronenberg shows up and he's evil military guy. And he's like, we need to experiment on Jason. He can regenerate. We need to know what makes him regenerate. And because they didn't watch Friday part six, they don't know that it's, mm. uh, you put a, put a metal pole in a corpse and lightning strikes it. But also, he might be a deadite. Oh. According to Jason Goes to Hell, the director was a big fan of Evil Dead, and he put a bunch of Evil Dead references in it, like the Necronomicon uh, yeah. and the dagger. So so all their experiments mean nothing. They just need to find that magical book. Are we, are we following? Mm-hmm. I thought it was the black goo. <laughs> no, it's not. the Oh, from, from Black Christmas 2019? Stop. Oh, stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> Monica, did you see Black Christmas Don't. 2019? No. Don't. Don't. It's so bad. <laughs> you, you don't know. Monica, Monica's the one woman on the show who likes Ghostbusters 2016. She might be like, she might be like Black Christmas 2019 is a masterpiece. No, no it. one is going to say that ever. <laughs> People were lo really loved how angry you guys got in that episode. <laughs> um, so, yes, uh, we get our main character, Rowan, played by Lexa Doig. I don't know how to say her last name. I can't say it. The girl from Andromeda. Not to be confused with the other woman in this movie that's also in the show Andromeda. The main girl from Andromeda, she plays Rowan. And she's like, what are you doing, evil government guy? And he's like, well, we're taking him. Went over your head. <laughs> we went over him he your head and we're going to take him. We don't want him frozen. We're going to take him to another place and, I don't know, poke him more needles. Feels like I feel like they do it all the time. Can't they just chop? There's also no one at this facility. Like, there's no the real. By the way, yeah, I got a big problem with this <laughs> coming up. Okay. <laughs> so it turns out Jason broke out. Big shock. And he kills everyone. He kills poor David Cronenberg. Um, <laughs> he, he patiently s stands and lets uh, Rowan run away. That was weird. She, like, sees him and then he's just, like, standing there. Can How did he get out of the room? That's a good love. We found out in part eight, he can't just teleport. And the video game shows that he is. It's his teleport. Now, why did he teleport out of the... Th maybe that's how he got out. Uh, but why was he a prisoner for it. so long? Why didn't he teleport? Guys, I'm starting to think He was movie, flirting with the guard. <laughs> he had a crush on the guard. And then when the guard covered his face, he's like, that's it. It's over. Yeah, he got he's rejected. never going to love me. <laughs> he got rejected. <laughs> <sighs> okay. <laughs> I never watched this thing. Why did you make slash fiction about Jason and the guard? I have a woman. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna check out like those fan fiction sites, and if I see like there was a, uh... I get a lot of weird TikToks about monsters. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, uh, <laughs> so Rowan runs away uh, and she traps him in the cryo thing, whatever. Yeah. But then he stabs through it. Mm. Not, uh, I feel like a machete shouldn't be able to cut through something Shh. like that. <laughs> and it hits her and then the whole room freezes. 
I like how when he freezes, he's gone. Yeah, he, he freezes. <laughs> like, he's like, when I wake up, I'm going to wake I up. I am swinging. ready. Uh, so she freezes. But when we see her again, she's in a completely different spot. Anyway, she freezes. And then it's 400 years later. It's like, wait, like you said, did no one else work there? No one gave a shit. Where are those? It's just like, where did these people go? Like, <laughs> I don't know if like the earth like just became unlivable the day that she got frozen. And yeah. then no one gave a shit. <laughs> <laughs> that that's where you have like something on the TV that says like scientists yeah. said there's an asteroid uh, in the Earth, really like, like something like that. They like scientists said it's definitely going to pass us, and then you find out later. That might be why the David Cronenberg wanted to get like regenerative abilities because he knew about. Yeah. Yes, you're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. <laughs> we're, we're putting a lot of thought into this script, um, but yeah, no one ever checked on it. I guess it's a lot of spider webs. That's a lot of spider webs. Mm -hmm. The spiders are doing great in the apocalypse, apparently. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's weird that no one, like, I assume there's cameras. Someone should be able to check, like, oh, th I checked the camera. She caught Jason in the cryo tube. We're but, good. Uh, don't these people have families or anything? It's just like, oh, yeah, my family member's just missing. Uh. <laughs> he works for the government. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> well, at least I get some money. It's fine. <laughs> or did someone with some sense come in and be like, you know what? Let's just leave him in there. Let's just leave him in there. Like, oh, everybody's dead? Okay, they can... We're right, going to close this. They've been waiting to cut off Crystal Lake yeah, yeah. facility. It's been a drain on the resources. The Crystal Lake <laughs> research <laughs> facility. <laughs> you watch the previous, like, nine films. It's like, I guess he could do research <laughs> there. I mean, it's not impossible. Well, as we know, Crystal Lake is a lake that apparently feeds into an ocean. Hmm. Where you can take a cruise liner to New York, apparently. We found that out in part eight. <sighs> These movies, they're... I mean, I love them. They're great. <laughs> but sometimes they don't make a lot of sense. <laughs> I do, when I go back and before we leave the whole yeah. cryogen thing, pretty sure I have... I really need to write better notes. But I have the note, I want him soft. Isn't that what David Cronenberg Grone says? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want him soft. <laughs> I don't want him frozen, Rowan. I want him soft. <laughs> huh. And he's like a big body horror guy. So I feel like that like wasn't a mistake. Like I'm like, yeah, they probably wanted him to say something weird. Like, I want him soft. <laughs> this is so creepy. And it's so creepy that it's him. You guys ever see Nightbreed? Mm -mm. Not really. Oh, he's like one of the bad guys in Nightbreed. And he's like a creep in that too. He's just got a creepy voice. Uh, I want him soft. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is that in your slash fiction? <laughs> <laughs> the guard did not want Jason's. <laughs> the guard wanted the exact opposite. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, a bazillion oh. years later, a bunch of researchers come and they're like, oh, we're just taking a trip on Earth. I'm like, oh, what do you know? We found the Crystal Lake Research Center. Uh, there's no longer a lake, sadly. Everything's dead. Uh, but they find Jason. And Rowan, who's now underneath some pipes. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah. Everything else is fine, but her. <laughs> yeah. And she doesn't look, like, frozen enough to be preserved. Like, I feel like she should have started, like, melting. Like, you see, um... Oh, so where is all the power coming from that they were Yeah, frozen? what's still running it? <laughs> Did you see they found, like, a like a thousand-something-year-old, like, human who was frozen, still wearing its clothes and stuff? No. Is it like a little girl or something? Yeah, it's yeah. preserved, but it still looks horrifying. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's how Rowan should look. But yeah, what is powering it? You know, this reminds me of another space movie, uh, Battlefield Earth, mm -hmm. uh, where they find the 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 jets and stuff from like 3,000 years prior, and they all still work. They're all still powered. Okay. How? Don't worry about it. What? <sighs> You know, they were breaking ground at the Crystal Lake Research Center. They really they, were. They, 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 they must have had a fuel source. Maybe the lake was the renewable The fuel lake source. was the fuel source. <laughs> Jason kept coming out of it, so they That's could true. keep using it for That's power. True. <laughs> um, so, yeah, they, uh, they like, find her, they find Jason, and then the guy with the biggest nose in the world gets his arm cut off. Do you know what movie he's from? What? You ever see uh, It Takes Two? Who's in Mary that? Kate and Ashley no. and, and uh, what's her face who just died? Um, uh, K 
Christy Alley or whatever. Kirsty oh, Alley? Kirstie Alley, yeah. She's in it, and there's the guy. You ever see that? No. You ever see yeah. That? It's uh, Butt Kiss or whatever. It's the one annoying boy oh. that was like at that orphanage thing or whatever. Because I'm looking, I'm like, who the hell he is was he? really familiar. Mm. And then I went and I scrolled and I was like, ah. Oh. He <laughs> literally looks like a bird. Like, he looks like a bird, man. <laughs> And we're friends with a guy named Bird, and he doesn't look anything oh like God. a bird. But this guy looks like a bird, but he gets his arm cut off. And I love that they're like, relax, dude. It's the future. We can grow that right back. Uh, but he gets his arm cut off in the dumbest way. Because they're like, <laughs> don't touch anything. And he touches a mug. And then his... Well, it's, that's not how his arm gets cut off. Well, no, no, no. Well, that's what leads <laughs> to the journey of his arm getting cut off. He gets this mug stuck on him. And instead of just like waiting till later for it to thaw. He's like, you know what? I'll go up next to the zombie with the goddamn machete. And I'll just bang the mug on his door until the zombie falls over. He's so stupid. Uh, there's also a robot there. KM. Oh, yeah. Android KM. Uh, Knowledge machine. Huh? Yeah. Knowledge machine, right? Yes. Oh, wait. This oh, next line, okay. this breaks your theory that the apocalypse happened the same day. Because we find out they examine him and they're like, what's on his face? And the guy says it's a hockey mask. What's a hockey mask? Facial armor used in a sport outlawed in 2024. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Hockey gets extinct like next year. Next year, hockey's banned, Johanna. So I know you're a big Flyers fan. Not right now. Well, <laughs> well, you. Well, now was your last chance. Now yeah, was your last <laughs> Flyers. No, that was their last chance to get their shit together. <laughs> Flyers that's, why, that's why hockey's ending. I'm going to end it all. <laughs> oh my God. Like, <laughs> You're starting at everything. It's, it's all, they're like, why did, Jason X. why did hockey get bad? Some woman was in a bad mood about the Flyers. She lit herself on fire in the middle of the ice rink. <laughs> and they said never again. <laughs> they canceled it all. They said never again. So and then the world ended the next day. <laughs> and then the world ended the next day. <laughs> In other news, no one knows what happened to that scientist lady and those guys. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, they uh, they bring her back onto the uh, ship to bring her back to life. Um, and then we meet Brodsky, played by Peter Mensa, who would end up becoming part of a million memes a few years later because he's the guy uh, Leonidas kicks into the pit in 300. This is madness. Okay. This is Sparta. Arr. Arr. <laughs> That's Gerard Butler would be ashamed of that. I think Gerard Butler's just ashamed of himself. What do you mean? He's about to be in the movie Plane. Dude, I died. <laughs> I Plane. <love> it. <laughs> I I just I kind of love it because it's just like we don't give a fuck. We're just calling the movie Plane. <laughs> yeah, it's a plane. It, it's just it's the long buildup of the trailer. And like everything that's happening, you're like, oh my god, like what is this gonna be? And then it's just plane. And I'm just like <laughs> yeah. Okay. We're getting off this island. <laughs> Sounds like, pretty good to me. Coming after this, right? And it's just <laughs> no plane. I think it's a great idea. I might watch the movie now. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Gerard Butler. Leave him alone. Anyway, he was the Phantom. Huh? He was the Phantom. The Phantom of the Opera. Oh, I thought you meant like the Phantom, like with Billy Zane. No. I'm like, shut your mouth. Billy Zane was the Phantom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's uh, Peter Menzies there as Brodsky, the tough military guy. Um, you guys recognizing anything with the story? Find a woman frozen. Years later, they bring her back. And then the thing that she was fighting previously is also back. Oh, like Alien? Or like Aliens. Okay, well, or you know like what Alien I meant. Resurrection. They, it, this movie's just aliens. They, Maybe that's they, why I like it. <laughs> that is why I like the movie Carnosaur too, which is just aliens with dinosaurs. Uh, but it's like legit aliens. Like one of the characters' names is Dallas, I think. Wait, wait, is there a dinosaur movie in space? There's a dinosaur movie about dinosaurs from space called no. Future War. It needs but to be I, in space. Yeah, there might be. No, I'm, I'm gonna... literally gonna go home and like look up every like in space yeah. movie. But Carnosaur Two is a movie that takes place on Earth, but the plot is just al aliens. They okay. just swapped out aliens with uh, velociraptors. Okay. And there's a review of it on our Patreon. The robot lady KM, like I said, she is also on Andromeda. 
uh, which is a show apparently no one remembers. Kevin, I, Sor- I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. Kevin when you Sorbo keep saying was the star of it. I don't give a fuck about Kevin Sorbo. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Because he's like some God-loving weirdo. What's wrong with loving God? You know, not loving God is what led to Earth being destroyed in Jason X. They didn't say that. I, I, you got to read between the lines. This is the subtext, Monica. It's in the nope. Subtext. It's not in my subtext. <laughs> Be nice to Kevin Sorbo. He's Hercules. Like, I care. Oh, he's that crazy guy. Okay. <laughs> crazy. Just a nice, well-meaning guy. Like me. Anyway, uh, <laughs> oh, okay. so for a movie that's trying to be alien, yeah. uh, the whole look of the ship is like more Star Trek-y. Like you think they try to like mimic like aliens, like creepy atmosphere and the dark lighting and the, you know, exposed wires and stuff. But no, they, they meant the opposite direction. Like, it's literally we, just like space. It's yeah. They're like, we want this to look and, yeah. like nice, futuristic, fun Star Trek stuff. I guess so Jason can like be contrasted against it i mean he used to kill people at camps now he's just happy spaceships i guess so i guess so. he's really moving up yeah not in the world because he's off the world but he's moving up he's moving on up he got upgrade <laughs> he's got an upgrade <laughs> evil got an upgrade <laughs> he's not upgraded yet he's not upgraded yet uh but yeah they do they use nano machines to fix rowan Little ants. Yeah, the nano ants. I literally, I'd be like, nah, my arm's staying off. Don't touch me. <laughs> There's another movie with robot ants. Robot ants. Isn't there like a? <sighs> is it Russell Crowe in a movie where he's like an AI guy and nano machines make him? Look it up. Anyway, uh, these <laughs> ants rebuild them. They fix the guy's arm. They fix her. Uh, and in the other room, they just have Jason there. Uh, and there's a there's a nurse or a doctor. Doctor lady is trying to um, examine. Clad. Yes, and uh, yes, yeah, no, no one wears clothes in the future. Very scantily, <laughs> yeah. The, the clothing is very the lax. The choices are horrible. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. bad. <laughs> it's in the. They only seem horrible because we haven't gotten there yet. Yeah. By the time we get to twenty four, whatever, it's, you're gonna be like, wow, they nailed it. We're gonna be dead, Tony. I like how even Rowan was just like when she wore the girls' clothes. She's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're, yeah they're great she says like yeah they're great yeah sure um but i like that even in the future i guess uh students are still horny everybody's horny on this ship yeah everyone's really horny on everybody's this ship. horny yeah well, everyone's horny in these movies for some reason thank god jason's there to stop them. yeah to stop the premarital uh, sex <laughs> yeah jason's like that they haven't progressed wait wait he, i mean he didn't stop that one couple in time though he did look he he just woke up. <laughs> All right. That's All right. what he woke up to. He was like, I smell it. <laughs> Look, if you woke up and realized you were in space, you'd be like, All right, I'm gonna kill them in a minute, but I really gotta like figure out what's going on here. Uh Get okay. the bearings. <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah, the horny students are like, man, I can't wait to have sex. And the girl's just like, can you guys just get the fuck out? Like, you are awful and I hate you. Just get out so that I can examine this creepy fucking guy by myself. But you're also forgetting my other favorite line. What? <laughs> if Jason's hung like a mammoth. <laughs> he's a big boy. I bet he's hung like a mammoth. That's why the security guard wanted him. <laughs> 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 they're still finding mammoths in the future I don't know if they're finding them it's just a thing in the past wait the one girl didn't know what like hockey was don't worry about but it but they know what mammoths are girl, look girl no sport good <laughs> like I don't know <laughs> girl no sport girl, good girl no sport good Jesus Christ <laughs> alright uh <laughs> So yeah, they wake up Rowan, she's shocked. Uh, and then the professor dude calls some weird old guy. Yeah, what who the fuck is that? <laughs> was some old guy, I guess, who owed him money or he owed money to. But and he's he like, like a, he helps him smuggle stuff. I guess, I guess. He, like he works on like the black market of space. I don't know. <laughs> that, was, that, was that explained? That's he kind of g- says it like All right, that's what a good they explanation. Sell. That's a good explanation. Oh, God. But yeah, he's just like, hey, look, I got something. He's like, not DVDs. And he's like, no, not DVDs. I found a lady and she's old. And the guy's like, I don't care. <laughs> it's like, but she's older than all the other old ladies. I'm like, but whatever. But he does know who Jason Voorhees is. But that, but that was a weird thing because it said like Voorhees. He's like, that's not Jason Voorhees. Like, 
The Is legend he... lives on. <laughs> I guess he was the only popular Voorhees, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I don't really know any other Voorhees. Besides his mama. No. Voorhees. One of the actresses in part five, I think, his last name was Voorhees in real life. Hmm. I know her. There's the Voorhees Memorial Shopping Center. Anyway. Um... But yeah, he's he's like, hey, Jason might actually cost a lot of money. You're going to want to lock him down. Uh, but then we find out that the professor is sleeping with his students. Is he sleeping with them, though? Well, he puts on a dress and then the girl dresses he like a dominatrix. Lingerie. He doesn't put on a dress. Lingerie. And get the nipple clamp. Yeah, and the girl like uh, clamps his nipples. I don't think they were having sex. I think he just likes to be like abused. Like, like yeah, humiliated yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. Like, that's his kink. It feels so out of character, because, like, he's not like that for the rest of the movie. It's just kind of weird. What he does in his bedroom is his own progress. Mm. Like, do what you need to do. I feel like they just needed a wacky scene, and they threw that in there. She needed a good grade. She passed. Yeah. She passed, apparently. Also, I don't know what they're researching. It's not really clear. <laughs> like, it's not really clear. Are they clear. archaeology students? Like, you know, I'm not sure. <laughs> also, her trying to sleep with the professor, that was a rip off of the part in part eight where the girl tries to do the same thing in the professor. Mm. But in that one, they're like filming him to like get blackmail on him. This one, I guess she's like totally down to clamp his nipples. I don't know. Um, but yeah, the research never really makes sense because Rowan will be like, what are those things? And there's like obvious aliens. And then they just make a joke and move on. And it's like, no, what, what were those things? What is any of them? What are any of you people doing here? I know they have like, Government like employees on the ship, and then there's college students, and the government employees make sure the college students don't die on their trips. Like I don't understand this program. It's almost as if I don't have backstory for this. It's one. not a very good movie. I don't know. I don't know. Shut your mouth. <laughs> uh, we get to see Jason unmasked, and he looks real goofy. He's like, Whoa. Um, <laughs> she put the mask right back on. She puts the mask right back on. She's like, "If no, <laughs> yeah, she's just, I don't baby. feel like I know. <laughs> Poor babies. Like, no wonder you covered your face. And then it's just like, but you're doing research. Why would you cut it off and then put it back on? Well, look, he was hung like a mammoth. She had other body parts. <laughs> she, she needed to look at first, like eyeballs. Uh, yeah, I don't like that she ripped his eyeball out. That was weird. Why did it look like that? Why does he still have a fucked up eye? That would have like whatever. Um, why is his one eye just never regenerating? I don't understand. It's his weak spot. But also, when they're talking to the black market guy, yeah, he basically says, like, oh, we constantly find people that are frozen. Like, there's thousands of people that have been frozen on yeah, Earth. thousands Prime. was the weird thing. I was just like, how many people did they just, like, have cry? And then just left. <laughs> just left. Like, is it like, is it like, is it like Star Trek? Are they, like, floating out in space, too, when they find them? Mm-hmm. That's how they found Khan. But it sounds like they're slaves or something because he's like, we're going to sell them. Oh, yeah. Like people will pay to see her. I'm like, I mean, I, I don't think I. As he was just comforting her, too. He's just yeah. like, oh, yeah, I know. It's like a big shock, whatever. And it's just, I'm going to sell if her. They, if they said they like <laughs> unfroze like someone from like 500 years ago, I'd be like, yeah, I'll read about it. It's like, don't you want to meet him? I'm like, what the fuck am I going to talk to them about? <laughs> what was it like in the past? And they're going to be like, it sucked. And they're like, I'm probably going to die because I can't eat any modern food because I have a completely different immune system. And then the person will die. And I'm like, cool. Glad I paid for that fucking conversation. <laughs> anyway. Um, so KM wants nipples. Uh, oh, the yeah, robot yeah. wants nipples and her nipples fall off because they're magnetic, I guess. I would assume. And then the dude who built her. The, the nerdy guy, he's anti-nipple. Why does she just have a specific strap to show her boobs? Because like she's clearly a sex robot that was made by a pervert. <laughs> like, I know they're trying to do this, like, romance thing. I'm like, no, this is, this is uncomfortable. You yeah. made her. But it's weird. She's like, I want bo nipples because the other girl has them. And he's like, you don't need them. It's like, the guy doesn't want his sex robot to have nipples? I'm like, this is a little weird. Why even give her breasts then? That was the weird thing, right? Why even give it to her? I didn't think too much on this one. <laughs> <laughs> you thought so much about the security guard. Listen, Meanwhile, the actual two... forbidden love, okay? <laughs> forbidden love. 
<laughs> I just love that they're magnetic and the sounds they make when they fall. They're like, dun, dun. Um, then we get to the best part of the film. The liquid nitrogen part. Uh, Dr. Lady walks away for like a second and Jason just pops up. <laughs> he like pops up like the freaking Undertaker. He's like, ugh. Yeah, because they're, the other two were having sex. Well, yeah, but like it's weird she doesn't like hear him right away because he's loud. Like he's a giant. No, but in this one, he's not. He's stealthy as hell. Yeah, he's pretty stealthy in this one. Yeah, you never he, hear him. Even when he's a robot, yeah. you should be hearing like, shh, shh, shh. So yeah, he like grabs her and he throws her head in the liquid nitrogen, turns into ice, and then just shatters it. So Roger Ebert hated this movie. I think he gave it zero stars. He It was part of his, like, I hated it, uh, the list that he did every year. Uh -huh. uh, I think even he said this was, like, the one good moment in the movie because it was so clever. <laughs> but I think Mythbusters uh, tested this out. I don't care. Not on a real person. Yeah. Like, liquid nitrogen doesn't work the way the movies make you think it works. It's future liquid nitrogen. Mm. That's true. It is future liquid future. nitrogen. You saw that Mythbusters episode and like, uh-uh-uh. <laughs> 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 We're gonna smash people. <laughs> How do you test that? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't watch MythBusters. Don't worry about it. Just, like freeze a bunch of women's heads. Like, I mean, I guess if you can get uh, somebody to donate a body part, <laughs> I guess you could. I guess you could. Uh, but no, it's the most awesome death ever. Uh, it, it's it's just so well crafted and so well shot, and the sound effect, like everything works. To the point where you're like, all right, that made it. It's like ghost ship. It's like, you know what? That opening kill made it so worth it. I don't care about the rest, but or uh, or 13 ghosts, the glass. Mm. Like, like a lot of these bad horror movies. I don't know why I mentioned that with Jason X. It's perfect. Bad? A lot of these horror movies that people don't like, there's always one good thing. And this is the one good thing. Everything is good about ghost ship. Oh, my God. What are your thoughts? Watch on Watch the review. <laughs> I only remember that beginning scene. Exactly. <laughs> it's been a long time. Exactly. I love that movie. Never, go back and watch our episode. Every, everyone only remembers the beginning scene. Not and then me. The, and then the yeah, not but falling like the song. Scene, like you always see online too when people are talking mm. about Ghost Ship. So yeah. it's like, how else am I going to remember Ghost Ship? Mm, like true. I totally forgot Carl Urban was in it. That's true. He was. He was. He's maggots. Same year as The Two Towers, which we reviewed recently. Please watch that episode when it premiered. YouTube was glitching. It's fine. The episode plays fine. <laughs> that was annoying. Did you watch that, that premiere? Yeah, yeah. It happened to a lot of people. Like, yeah, a lot that of week was channels. rough. Anyway, uh, Rowan is giving them like the backstory of Jason. And they're like, yeah, we tried to kill him like so many ways. Tried to hang him, firing squad, this. Rasputin. The... Yeah, he's basically <laughs> Rasputin. Um, but without a little bat friend. All my knowledge of Rasputin comes from Anastasia. Anastasia's now a Disney princess. <laughs> oh, is she? Mm -hmm. Disney owns Fox. Oh, God. Don't so remind Rasputin's me. Is now a Disney villain. Hmm? Don't remind me. Um, <laughs> but yeah, they were like, we finally gave up and we were going to freeze him. But then the government got greedy or whatever. <laughs> uh, but yeah, she finds out that Jason's on the ship. And she's like, what the hell are you doing? That's like the worst possible place you could have brought him. This is so stupid. Um, and I love these, like, it's fine. He's dead. Everything's fine. He's in the other room. And then cut, and right, immediately to, cut. <laughs> cut right to them <laughs> finding the body. And it's like, oh, well, <laughs> fuck that one up. Fuck that one up. Uh, but yeah, he starts chopping people up. He chops up the horny student guy. Leaves the just, girl. Just pulls him out and just leaves. Yeah, he kills the guy and then takes him away. It's he's like, He's warming huh. up. Yeah. He's warming up. He's warming <laughs> up. <laughs> Uh, but then we cut back to our favorite character, Nose Guy, and him and the writer of the film, Todd Farmer, the big bald guy, uh, they're shooting aliens. Mm -hmm. And when I first watched this movie, I was like, oh, my God, there's aliens. Will Jason fight these aliens? Where did these aliens come from? It turns out it was a VR game. It's a virtual reality game where they're shooting aliens. Uh, and I like that Jason just wanders into their game. Yeah, he's just and like he comes in. He's like, oh. yeah. He he <laughs> kills the alien, which first off he doesn't know it's a VR game. So like, what is Jason's like thoughts about like, oh my god, we're not alone in the universe? Well, he just killed it, so I guess he didn't care. Yeah, that, that's a little disrespectful of Jason. You think he'd 
You think Jason would be like, oh my God, is this first contact? I better make a, I better, <laughs> I better represent the humanity oh, yeah. in the best light possible. I'm just going to cut it in half. Uh, but then he kills them, but they're not actually dead. Which this is weird because then the VR thing turns off and then it's them sitting with headsets. So they sat and were projecting themselves, but Jason could physically interact with them. I don't understand how the VR works. How are they able to like hold objects and stuff if it's like light? I have no idea. <laughs> you guys came up with stupid bullshit for everything else. I don't think it was stupid bullshit at all. Are these nano ants? Yeah, no. maybe it is a nano technology. <laughs> it's the nano ants. <laughs> you blew your load on the 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 what you I blew my load. <laughs> you blew your load on the uh, the security guard. <laughs> the security guard in the apocalypse. You, you went too I'm <laughs> working on fan fiction right now. <laughs> All of my head are talking. <laughs> there are Jason X novels and comic books. So if you want to romance, you, is, yeah. I don't know if they're romance. I do know that there is a short story that involves something with like somebody dressing up as Jason of the spicy variety. <laughs> TikTok, huh. TikTok showed me that one, and I was like. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I barely use TikTok anyway. Uh, <laughs> so there is a market for it. <laughs> spicy, so yeah, Jason, um, spicy Jason. Spicy Jason. <laughs> what you call it? Nose guy gets his back broken. He like does the wrestling movie, breaks his back, and then throws him. And then uh, the writer Todd Farmer gets his head like caved into a wall. Um, so yeah, he's just going on that killing spree. But by, by the way, how does Nose Guy not recognize Jason right away? Because Nose Guy got his arm oh, he cut off. Like he's high all the time. Yeah, he got his arm cut off by Jason. Like he should be like, "Holy shit, that's that dead guy!" Instead, he's like, "Who's this dude with a hockey mask?" Ruining my good time. Yeah, ruining my good time. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, then the the Space Marines go on go on a hunt for Jason. And I've watched a lot of films that take place in space. And I know when the space Marines come, it's, it's always going to go just fine. The one guy was screwed. <laughs> I did like how he just kept spinning. Them. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> yeah. Jason takes out the team one by one. It's pretty much every. It's like a stealth mission. Why, number yeah. one, why did they split up? That's a good question. <laughs> but we've seen this before. We've seen it I in know, but... Leprechaun 4. We've seen it in Predator 2, Aliens. Uh, it's a trope that happens a lot. We're like, we're sending in the team, and then the team just gets fucking like murdered. Resident Evil. <laughs> Resident Evil. It happens in Resident Evil. Um But yeah, the guy, the guy getting screwed was the best part. Like, where is oh, he? I thought the other one was the best part. The best part of this scene. Oh, okay. Where they're like, what, where, what happened to this guy? And he just goes, he got screwed. No, he's, he's screwed. He's screwed. Besides, we found Condor. What's his condition? He's screwed. I, if I was on the other side, I'd be like, what does that mean? <laughs> I'd be like, it? you're fucking fired. Yeah, like, <laughs> so unprofessional. <laughs> I'd be like, hey, the, you know, it's this. what you just said is probably clever if you're there, but I'm on a radio. I don't know what you're like. How is he screwed? Like. He's literally screwed. Did he file his taxes wrong? <laughs> his did taxes he, wrong. Did his wife find out about his affair? Oh like, what's God. going on? It's like, no, he just landed on a giant screw. Um, yeah, Jason gets impaled on a hook. They're able to put him on a hook and they shoot out his knees. And the guy celebrates a little bit early. He's like, yeah, I got him. It's totally. By the way, that, that hook is gigantic. I feel like and his knees were just shot. I know he can heal, but how fast can he heal? Because I feel like once he got off the hook, like his knees should have buckled and then his spine should have collapsed and he should have like fell over. Explain it, woman who loves this movie. It's the black goo. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> I guess because he's a deadite, right? Mm -hmm. Why can't he do any of the other deadite stuff? He can't fly. Um, Maybe because <laughs> of his mom. He's like half human, half deadite. That was a better answer than I thought. <laughs> you're back. You're back. You're back. You lost it for a little bit. You lost it for a little bit, but now you're back. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he kills him too. Uh, he cuts that dude in half. <laughs> Dude's just crawling on the floor. Um, all these people who get killed right now, by the way, are important 
for the video I'm putting out on Thursday. And I'll talk. Huh? What's that? I'll talk about it more at the end, but I'm doing a video on Thursday, and this scene is important to one of the things I'm going to talk about. But moving on. Okay. Uh, Brodsky has his uh, first fight with Jason, and it's the funniest goddamn thing in the world. Where he gets stabbed, and he's like, it's going to take more than that to put me down. <laughs> he just gets stabbed again. He's like, yeah, I don't yeah, do that. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do it. <laughs> so I'm. Jason proved me wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that it's like, oh, yeah, you can't stop. Oh, you use that. You know, that'll do it. That got me. That got me. I'm like, oh, you I, got me good. <laughs> I've never seen that much brutal honesty in a badass getting killed. Like, huh? You got my number. I got it. <laughs> game respects game. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah. Uh, this movie is Jason's biggest body count so far oh. with deaths. I mean, the other type of body count, it's implied that girl in three and that security guard. So it's <laughs> two there. But when it comes to deaths, he kills the pilot on the ship, which causes the ship to crash into the space station. And Not I right think away. That, huh? that doesn't happen right away, though, right? Or does it? Yeah, it's like around that same time. Well, I feel time. like they kept going back to like that where he was, I don't know. Never mind, the, go forward. I, I skipped a little bit, okay? But no, he kills the pilot and that leads to the big crash. And they did use a miniature, but it doesn't look good. I feel bad for the pilot. Yeah. He is lonely. <laughs> he is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so lonely. I, re I related to that guy. I was gonna ask if you related to that. <laughs> Poor Moo. Mm. I'm gonna start wearing a cowboy hat. Oh my God. <laughs> And flying spaceships. It's going to be a little hard. That second one's going to be a little hard, but I think I can pull off the cowboy. Hat. <laughs> with that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think the writer said that like uh, on the space station was like 1,500 people or something. And he, he said there was like 200 dogs on the space station. He like came up with a number for how many people are on that space station. So like what? the space station that blows up. Oh, the one that okay. I thought, yeah, I thought you meant the one that we're, they were currently on, and I was like, wait, where no, no, are that's everybody? a spaceship that crashes into the space station. Okay. Sorry, God, Monica, get it right. <laughs> be like, I'm the, lost in my head right now. <laughs> be like if the Enterprise crashed into Deep Space Nine, that's what's happening here. Okay, and it looks just as good. Actually, it looks like. The effects look like an episode of Deep Space Nine. Um, the effects are really bad. I'm sorry, they're like. They're really bad for like a theatrical release, although they almost put this direct to video. That's how little faith they had in it. But like this is coming out, not that it's great. This is coming out like the same year as Star Wars Episode Two. Mm. And this is after like the Fifth Element and Starship Troopers. It's like you, you gotta, you gotta. It's gotta look better than Wing Commander. Is all I'm saying. And this doesn't look anywhere near as good as Wing Commander. Remember Wing Commander? No. Remember Wing Commander? No, you're losing me right now. It was a video game that they turned into a movie starring Freddie Prince Jr. Why? Why do I care? Because it, it's space related. People die in space in that movie. Yeah, but not the same way. Anyway, the reason Wing Commander, <laughs> the reason Wing Commander was so popular, uh, is people went to it because the episode one trailer played before the movie. So people literally paid to see Wing Commander and then would just leave the theater after the episode one trailer played. Huh. But yeah, that movie's not very good, and neither is this. Okay. So. Uh, Jason commits genocide, and I don't even think he's aware he did it. No, no, he's not. He seems like he's just like, wow, what was that thing? Uh, I do like that they're like, yeah, we'll, we'll circle back, and the whole space station is just like blowing, and then I guess a shock wave hits them. Yeah, yeah. Is that how it works in space? Yes. Okay, okay. So this movie's <laughs> accurate. Yes. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> um. All right, so everyone runs, and the professor tries to negotiate with Jason. <laughs> he just wants his machete back. Guys, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> like, oh, thank God. He, which I don't know why Jason wanted that machete, because that new blade he had was, like, way cooler. But the original. Like, that's he's had it for forever. It's like losing your that's blanket. Not the original, yeah. wait, that's not the original machete. He gets new weapons every movie. I don't know why he's, he, he, he... He's had it for a while. He's very attached to it. I don't know, the newer one, the new one's just way nicer. Not really. It's cooler. It's got holes in it. And it's got like a jagged edge. Most machetes have jagged edges. Uh-uh. 
Well, some do. <laughs> you machete <laughs> expert? <laughs> yes. I know you're wearing flannel. You look like a woodsman, but I didn't know you were a machete expert. <laughs> Yes, I am. <laughs> oh, okay. Never mind then. I'm not. So what do I know? <laughs> uh, but yeah, the the guy fails in his negotiations with Chase. I just, oh, just hear him scream in the background. But they come up with a plan. They're like, we're going to take the shuttle. We're going to escape in the shuttle, mm -hmm. which is the plan from Alien. But anyway. Uh, we keep forgetting to mention. I think it's a plan in most space movies. Yeah, when we the keep, ship is fucked. We keep forgetting to mention. Element. <laughs> at least with Alien, there were some kind of stakes because they were like, "Well, the shuttle can't really hold all of us." But mm. then they were like, "Yeah, yeah the shuttle will be fine. We're all gonna be okay." Uh, we keep forgetting to mention the one girl uh, whose boyfriend died. Mm -hmm. She's like, she's like the girl from Night of the Living Dead or Hack the Living Dead, the better version. Where, like, after her brother dies, she's all, like, catatonic. She's like, he's coming back any minute now. Like, this whole movie. She's like, oh, I gotta go back to my room. Yeah, she's, like, having, like, a mental breakdown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's that's important for the, one of the dumbest things I've ever seen. <laughs> um, so, yeah, as they're uh, planning this whole, like, getaway thing, the dude finally makes out with his sex robot. KM. They, they, they make out. Because she's like, our odds are only 20%. And then he, like, kisses her. I think it was her. less than that. Yeah, and then he kisses her, and she's like, 50%. I'm like, thank God you're a robot, and like you haven't been around, because that kiss didn't look like 50% worthy. Uh, and then it's implied they just, he has sex with this nippleless robot there. Am I alone thinking that this is not the time to do that? Uh, They're in love. Let them be. Robots don't know love. Yeah, she clearly like, does. She thinks they're going to die, so, you know. Well, you know who's not dead? Brodsky. He's, <laughs> he's alive. Never, like, he will not die. He, he's got that regenerate. They should have studied him instead of Jason. <laughs> he will not die. <laughs> he's not doing well, though. He's still a little injured. Um, Apparently that won't do it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It didn't do it. It didn't do it. Uh, the one girl tries to escape in the shuttle. Uh, and I think around this time is when um, the, the one mechanic dude gets killed. He mm -hmm. thinks uh, it's around here, right? I'm going to be honest. The mechanic guy, for the whole movie, I thought his name was Crotch. <laughs> what is his name? Crutch. Crutch, right. But the way they say it, I thought it was Crotch. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, yeah, it kind of makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> around, around this point, he sees the professor's head. And he's like, ha, 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 even though it's like clearly <laughs> severed. Um, but yeah, the, the Supergirl gets in the shuttle because Jason's coming. And they're like, lady, let us she in. She was like listening to somebody get murdered. Yeah, and she's like, no, I don't want to let you in. No. Yeah, they're talking nice yeah. to her. <laughs> and then and then, they're, then she's like, I'm going to fly away. They're like, woman, you're, the fuel line's still attached. <laughs> the fuel line's still attached. She's like, oh. Ah. She just drives <laughs> right into the ship and blows herself up. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> And then Christopher Nolan ripped that off for Interstellar when Matt Damon was trying to like connect with the uh, space station and they warn him. They're like, no, you can't do that. It's going to blow you. And then he blows up. Do you think Christopher Nolan watched this movie? Yeah. Yes. And he went, he mm -hmm. went, he went, oi, I'm putting that m m space movie. You would know how he talks. I'm British. You know. I am. Yes. I remember. That's how he talked That's on the British? set of the. It's Cockney, isn't that it's the same country? Is that right? Cockney? <laughs> Boy. Be honest, you sound like Australian. Yeah, that's what I thought. Whatever, <laughs> <laughs> it's all the same goofy language. Uh, English? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah but it's like language. weird. I speak American. Um, but that's how he spoke on the uh, Dark Knight Rises. Mm. He went, Oi! Okay, that, uh, What's all this then? <laughs> Where that Batman at? That's how he talked. Anyway, KM shows up mm -hmm. with a wardrobe change. And I think they screwed up the line. Ever an upload. Yeah. Should be upgrade, upgrade right? Yes. Upload. <laughs> yes. I mean, he did he probably did give her an I upload. I think it was like a double entendre. He, he, I guess so. I guess so. Like he gave her an upload, <laughs> but also he uploaded like new fighting information into her. <laughs> gave her an upload just sounds it just doesn't sound the power right. of semen. <laughs> upgrade is the word. They got it right on the cover. Yeah, but she's a robot and you would upload like data into a robot. Well, then you should come out and be like, I uploaded some badass moves, not I gave her an upload. He that sounds like her, something. No, he gave her an upload. That sounds like something. He that gave would be her a load. 
<laughs> what if the tagline said evil gets an upload? Would you have seen the movie then? Yeah. I feel like I have to watch this to figure out what kind of load. <laughs> uh, yeah, so she's like dressed like the Matrix because this was shot in 2000. So it was still super popular at the time. So those bullets, because she's out of bullets sometimes and the different guns that she uses. Is that just aesthetic purpose? Yeah, like, those are just aesthetic. She doesn't have a gun yeah, that fits like, those bullets. They're just there. It's just what they picked up from the <laughs> the Marines. <laughs> the dead ones. <laughs> I get it, but it's like, okay, it's cool that you have those, but where's the gun for it? Like, you don't have the gun for it. Um, but she's kicking all kinds of ass. Now, is, is this a strong feminist moment? Did you as women relate to this? Sex? I wish I didn't have nipples just like her. Monica, without saying anything gross like that, because it'd be <laughs> coming out from you. Um, it's not did, fair. I was, can't say anything. Was this was this very empowering <laughs> for you? This scene, where you like girls get it done when you were watching this. Yeah, I was like, finally, somebody can a woman can take on a uh, wow, Jason. Wow, she wouldn't say that if she watched Friday the Thirteenth Part Seven, where the girl with telekinesis was able to take on Jason. Did you skip that one? Yeah, but that's telekinesis. Like, she actually kicked his ass. Like, kicked his ass. Well, a human did that one. This is a dirty robot. What do you have against robots? Ah, uh, they're soulless. Don't what you... I... Wait, you were... I got so upset about the robot in Hellraiser. <laughs> oh. Oh, that one was okay. That one had a goofy face, so I... I if the goofy or This one were... has a goofy face and a goofy haircut. That's really mean to the actress. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about a legit inanimate object. You're like, oh, that girl from Andromeda, that show I don't know, looks so goofy. <laughs> what were you saying about don't, robot? Don't worry about it. <laughs> are you bringing up a robot or something? Don't, don't worry about it. Oh, my back update to your wedding. Yes. Is that the robot yes, you were talking yes, about? Yes, yes, yes. Wait. That's that's more of a machine, not a robot. Wait, he brought a robot to your wedding? No. I, he wants to. I have two dates in mind for <laughs> Johanna's wedding. One is her mom. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, who, depending on the week, is either in or out of the wedding. Uh, so she's out of the wedding and bringing her as a date. And the second one is uh, this cool machine I found that I'm going to put a wig on. Anyway, um, let's get back to this. We got to get back to this. So she's doing karate and fighting. I mean, uh, it's okay at my wedding, so I think we'll be fine at yours. <laughs> I don't care. Like, Jason was at your wedding. <laughs> Jason was at my wedding. You got married on Friday the 13th. Yes, I did. What kind of what kind of crazy person gets married on Friday the thirteenth? Well, my sister. Yeah. What is up with what? Do I have to get married on Friday the thirteenth? You think you're getting married? <laughs> in Ten years from now, maybe. <laughs> you could get married on Friday the thirteenth. This month, right? Just pick, you know. <laughs> yeah. Like, as the, order your thing. Put the wig on. The, so, in the time it takes to shoot this, literally a week. I'm going to find a person and marry them. No, you're going to get the little machine thingy. and it <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're going to marry an inanimate object Figure it yet. out. No, Until I think we you change can. that law. What? Aren't there people that like marry? Isn't there a guy who married a sex doll? I don't know if that's oh, official. Yeah. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't know if, I don't know if any like government will recognize that way. I think there's somebody else who married their cat. <laughs> so yeah, uh, <laughs> she's shooting Jason and does karate on him. <laughs> And then she blows his head off, and then he lands on the nano make you better machine. Nano make you better. Yeah. Now, you think since she's such a smart robot, maybe when he was uploading all that ass kicking data, he took out her like logic processor or something. Because you think she'd be like, oh, that's the machine that brings people back to life. I should probably take the killer's corpse off of that. To be fair, the machine was broken. It looked like it was broken. Let's not fuck around. Let's, let's, let's make sure. Let's get him off of there. I'm not taking any risks is all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. But we again, he, when he uploaded, he must have downgraded some stuff. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, she leaves him. Oh, and I forgot the ship was called the Grendel. Mm -hmm. Like like Beowulf. Why? What does this have to do with Beowulf? I guess because they're fighting a monster. And Beowulf yeah, fought him. Is Rowan, is Rowan supposed to be Beowulf? Is Jason the mythical Grendel? Sure. Is Mrs. Voorhees Grendel's mother? Angelina Jolie? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what you call it? She was going to actually be in this. Uh, Betsy An Palmer was going to do a cameo. Hmm. I thought you said Angelina Jolie was going to be in this. 
<laughs> yeah, the way you led with that, it did sound like No, no, <laughs> Angelina Jolie is not going to be in this. Uh, that would have been awesome. Uh, but no, Betsy Palmer w- was going to be in this. Uh, but they couldn't like work it out, so they wrote the mm-hmm. character out. But event- they were going to use like a hologram of her to slow Jason down. Uh, and then he would just like ignore her or like kill her to show her like how evil he's become. Mm-hmm. Or even his mother doesn't have a hold over him. But they decided not to do that. I like how they wrote the character off because they couldn't get Betsy Palmer. And then in the next film, they just got some other old broad anyway. Like they didn't even bother getting Ooh, Betsy whatever. Palmer. Anyway, so yeah, they have to come up with a plan. They're like, the ship is going to explode. The big pontoon, which it is a pontoon. I didn't expect them to call it that. They're like, we're going to go hide in the part of the pontoon and break away from the other ship. And we're going to use explosives to get out of there. And that's our stupid plan. Uh, because there's a rescue ship on the way, but they're like, but if they rescue us now, we're all going to blow up. The rescue ship cracks me up because they're like, uh, you know what, guys? We're going to come back when it's more convenient. Like They keep, <laughs> they keep it like, we're not going to wait for you, your plan to go happen. Like, we'll come back. <laughs> and then while they're, this is happening, the nano machines turn on for some reason. They're like, well, we got to build this guy without a head. We got to give him a new head. We kind of give them a new wardrobe leg, all of it, (laughs) a new leg, everything. Uh, And this makes him Uber Jason. He's officially recognized as Uber Jason. Uber Jason. Okay. You know who he reminds me of? Who? Zordon. Zordon? Power Rangers. Do you mean, oh wait, do you mean Zed, the bad guy? Maybe Zed. Yeah. Zordon was the floating head. Okay. I'm sorry. Lord Zed is who you're thinking of. I'm yes. sorry, I the don't remember guy, right? my Power Ranger. Yeah, the red guy. Well. Yes, yes. yes. Okay. You were right. You just you were right. The the Power Rangers part was right. It was a Z name. Yes, Lord <laughs> Zed. He does look like Lord Zed a little bit. He does look like a Power Rangers villain. Yeah, more than he does a scary monster man. Um, also, looks like Shredder. He does. So. <laughs> I like that it made him a new mask. The he has both eyes. And they fixed his eyes. They made mm-hmm. him level. Hockey was outlawed, so he had to get a new mask. <laughs> the computers know, like, well, hockey's outlawed. We can't make him a hockey mask. Yeah. We, that would that goes against our programming. That's like that would be like if C three PO said the Sith language. I don't know how I remember that plot detail from Rise of Skywalker. Remember that was like a thing. Unfortunately, because you just brought it up. All the robots know the Sith language, but they're not allowed to say the Sith language. The fuck was that? Anyway. So yeah, uh, he shows up and he's ready to kick ass. Now, his <laughs> robot arm is strong enough to punch an android's head off. But his robot arm can be stopped by a tiny woman going like this and stopping him from swinging his arm She's down. very strong. They say it <laughs> when she slaps a dude when she gets woken up. She's very strong. She's stronger than yeah. the android? <laughs> yeah. It's well, maybe literally, nanos did something to her. Yeah. Literally. Within five seconds, it's him. Oh, I effortly punched this thing and oh, this tiny woman's holding my hand. <laughs> yeah. I can't I can't bring it down. She's just too strong for my tiny robot. Tiny woman has a name. Rowan, you're right. You're right. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> she has a real name, Lexa Doig or whatever. I don't know. Um But yeah, he does look kinda cool, even though he does look more like a Power Rangers villain. Um the one guy, he stays behind and sacrifices himself and blows up the bridge while they all get onto the pontoon or whatever the hell that is. Uh, and it's like super heroic and it's all sad. But guess what? Jason survived. And he he's he like, <laughs> oh, no, this is the flying part yet, mm-hmm. I think. No, you missed the whole 1980s. Simulation. No, 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 that's coming up. That's coming I up. I thought that was before. No, no, that's coming up. That's coming up. But yeah, they think they're alive, but then Jason rips a a hole in the hole of the ship. uh, And this leads to one of the better puns in the film. Oh, this sucks on so many levels! And then she gets sucked through the thing. Not as cool as a film we'll be covering soon, Alien Resurrection. I agree. Yeah, the, the, the body being sucked out of a hole is way better in Alien Resurrection. What do you think? I would say yes, it's better in Alien Resurrection. Yeah. Wait, no, Alien Resurrection is better than this, I meant. I was saying Alien Resurrection is better. Yes, yes, yes. Because in this, you just <laughs> see her, like, fly up, and then you just see, like, a piece of meat yeah, go through the you hole. Don't even, you don't even see her, like, smack the wall. Yeah. Like, it's just, that's it. Yeah. yeah. That was a bummer. That was a bummer. You need her being like... <laughs> I wish. But the intestines fall out and come back in. I can't wait to review that with you and our good friend Joe from Movie Dumpster. <laughs> okay, so Jason is stalking them again. 
and Brodsky's got to like go out. I think I've said his name different every time yeah. I've said his name. <laughs> Brodsky's got to go outside and and fix a thing for some reason. There's some oh, convoluted. The door won't open, so they have to go fix something with the power. Yeah, it's an excuse to get him up the ship. So he's walking. out there. Um, they then they slow him down with virtual reality, and like the one uh, casting agent was like super against this scene. Like she's like, this is just gratuitous nudity. 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 Yeah, this is just <laughs> gratuitous nudity, and it was like, yeah, that's what it is. And she was like super against it. They ended up casting the two girls and she like felt bad for them. But apparently the girls are like, this is the biggest movie we've ever been in. So we're fine. Um, but yeah, it is kind of funny because they are making fun of the other films where suddenly it's the 80s to trick him. But 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 there's still like a big spaceship piece in the lake, in the digital lake. You think Jason would be like, well, Crystal Lake doesn't have a spaceship piece there. Uh, but yeah, it cuts to the two girls who are like, you want to have premarital sex and smoke some pot? Hey, you want a beer? Or do you want to smoke some pot? Or we can have premarital sex. I love premarital <laughs> sex. <laughs> <laughs> they get in their sleeping bags. But yeah, then we get the uh, the sleeping bag kill. <laughs> now, famously, part seven, we talked about it. There was a sleeping bag kill where he picked up the girl and hit her in the tree. Uh, and originally he hit her like a bunch of times, but they cut that out. So this, they knew they weren't, they didn't have to cut it out. And they just went full on. He's just it's beating, really good. he's picking up one to beat the shit out of the other. And then he throws the other one in the tree. Um, but I like they're laughing the whole time. Yeah. They're like, hello. <laughs> um, so yeah, they, they all escape in time. They all escape. And uh, Jason is about to come. He's about, this is the part where Jason's flying like this toward the camera. And then and while the ship is exploding and then Brodsky somehow is. Don't worry about Brodsky's it. Brodsky's somehow from here and he, he's able to swing by and hit him. He's able to collide with him. Oh God. And then they, they fall into the atmosphere of earth two, which was the when name of a TV show. you wish shooting Jason. Yes. They, yes. <laughs> uh, there's a nice moment with Rowan and that guy who I'm sure had a name and his sex slave robot. And they're looking out the window. It's just like Empire Strikes Back, I feel. Uh, but yes, then it cuts to two people on Earth too, dressed like it's the 80s, I guess. And they're like, oh, a shooting star. It landed over there. In the Why lake. did you just sound so Irish? Oh, a shooting. Because I'm thinking of Leprechaun 4 in space. <laughs> and then his mask falls to the bottom of the lake. And it's like, wow, I can't wait for Jason XI. Would that have been the next one? X2. Like X2. Like J J Jason 10 2. <laughs> if you want to know what happens next, on Thursday, I hinted at this. I'm going to be talking about the Jason X comics. Oh. There's one comic that picks up where this, this leaves off. Okay. Uh, and it starts off pretty basic. Uh, it has a really, really funny moment. And then there's a bit of a twist. And then the second Jason X comic, Uber Jason fights regular Jason. How does that happen? Well, you'll have to find out or read the comic. I, you can just wait for my video. It's going to be more fun. I guarantee it. But, um, but yes, I will, I will tell you what happens in the Jason X expanded universe in that video. I didn't have time to read the novels. I will try to find the novels and read the Jason X novels. Cause he's got a whole second earth that he landed on. He's got a lot to do on the second earth. Do you think they make the Jason X novels in audiobook form? Oh, I hope if they don't, I'm gonna find whoever published them. You're like, hey, I'll read. It. <laughs> and then Uber Jason. You can make it like a Patreon exclusive. <laughs> you just reading the book to people. <laughs> That'd be pretty good. Maybe I'll do that. Uh, I do these exclusive live streams, uh, and the one that I did before the live stream like got like started, I was reading Ren on the Shaved. Our fan Ren on the Shave. I was reading. Uh, I read like the first two chapters of his book, Origin of Power Penguin. Mm -hmm. Uh, so yeah, maybe I'll do, maybe I'll buy the Jason X books and I'll just read it on Patreon. Yeah. Um, but yes, Jason X, Jason in space. How would you rank this with other, of the slashers who went to space, Jason, Leprechaun, Pinhead? How does this, how does this rank for you? Mm. That's a tough one. Probably this one, then Pinhead, then Leprechaun. You're putting Leprechaun last? Yeah. You traitor. Yeah. 
How is your leprechaun fiance going to feel about that? Mm, he's going to have to deal with it. Mm. How about you? I think I might put leprechaun first. <laughs> now you're right. Leprechaun. No, leprechaun <laughs> in space. I'm sorry. Leprechaun in space is way better than Jason X. The only thing with <laughs> the Hellraiser in space is that it doesn't. They don't spend all the time in space. Yeah. So yeah. It's only I'm partially push that in space. one a little further down. Yes. This one's in the middle of those three. This one's in the middle. Leprechaun in space is so much better than this. <laughs> sure. <laughs> this is so much better. They really went all in on the space. There were aliens, lightsabers, giant monsters, and like, oh, Why are you talking like this? this is so cool. <laughs> yeah, pirate. <laughs> the spaceship looked cooler. Uh, the biggest letdown with Jason X was the video game, the lawsuit. Uh, about the Friday 13th oh, franchise. Oh, yeah. And we never got the skin. And I, I did a video. I actually did a video with Mike Matei where I should we remember they had the virtual cabin in the Friday 13th game. Mm -hmm. And you had to, it was a scavenger hunt. You had to find all these clues. And at the end of the virtual cabin, you wake up in the Grendel space station hmm. and Uber Jason comes. And it's like, Uber Jason coming soon. <laughs> there he is. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> Can you, is this as much of there, that there is of him now? Or yeah, like, yeah, can, like he's still, he's still a little You can't like, like be him yet or anything? No, no, okay. no, but that's the reveal. Okay. That's how everyone found out. They played the virtual game, and so I thought you'd okay. like that. And it never came. Apparently, if you're good at like modding and hacking on PC, you can like find the Uber Jason in the code, mm. but it doesn't play yeah. as it would because it never got around to it. Um, so that's the biggest letdown there. But yeah, Jason X, as dumb as it was, it did have a legacy. It spawned multiple comics and books, uh, action figures. McFarlane put out a Jason X figure. There was an Uber Jason costume. Uh, it was kind of a big deal, not in the theater so much. And it's become like the ultimate, like it's the one you think of first when you think of slashers in space. Like, oh yeah, Jason in space. I remember that. A lot of people say this is their favorite. Like you said. I love it. I'm sorry. <laughs> nah, part, it's ridiculous. Part I don't know. I haven't seen all the Friday the 13th movies to be able to say which one's my favorite. You jumped right into Jason X without knowing the rich lore. Of I've the seen other the ones. Rich lore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, six is my favorite because the writers were just having fun. They were poking fun at Friday the 13th pretty much, which is what these this was kind of doing too. But I don't think these guys even, I think the writer admitted afterwards that he never even watched them. That's really funny. Which is even funnier. Which is even funnier. But yes, that was our Friday the 13th episode. We're doing one at a time now. Jason X. Johanna, where can we find you? I'm on Twitch. Uh, I'm going to start streaming again. Uh, stuff like games. And other websites that are that make YouTube cry. Yes. And don't <laughs> look for Monica. She's in space. Don't look for her in space. <laughs> she doesn't want to be found. I did get rid of my Twitter. So. Uh-huh. I got rid of my Twitter. Oh, I guess technically it's deactivated and I can activate it again. I don't know. Uh, Jess, if you're editing this, uh, get rid of Monica's Twitter in the beginning because then it'll lead to nothing. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, don't look for Monica. She's nowhere. Why'd you, why'd you leave? Is there a space reason you left Twitter? There was no space reason. Oh, uh, okay. You were going to try to make an Elon. I was going to try to make an Elon thing. Yeah. Mm. Saw that coming. I was just like, eh. Mm. Anyway, that's it from us. <laughs> we will be back with another Friday 13th in October for Freddy versus Jason. And in the meantime, we will be uh, trying to go through a lot of the Nightmare on Elm Street films. We already did the first one. Check that out. Check out the Just Like the Movie episode I did for uh, Nightmare on Elm Street for the NES game. I think people think it's a straight up review of the game, but it's not. It's just comparing it to the mm. movies. Uh, yeah, and we we're gonna we're gonna dip into some other slasher franchises like Child's Play. I think it's time we do Child's Play. You have the dolls, I right? I have the dolls. Are they readily available? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do Child's Play. Chucky's just missing his shoe. Uh, Throw it in the trash. <laughs> uh, yeah, and uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Check out Thursday's video where I talk about the Jason X comics, and I will see you all later. Goodbye. They're playing like Felicia versus Bishamon. And if Bishamon ends with a certain move, you just cut Felicia in half. Did you make sure to see Orchid's thong? Yeah. Here's 30 more chances as she spins around. See, you've got the Batgirl shirt on and you're oh. wearing a Robin t-shirt. Batgirl and Robin to your Batman. And Turtles ha is like Star Wars in the like, Star Wars is a 70s thing that ran into the 80s. Yeah. Turtles started in the 80s, but really grew in the 90s. Yeah.
Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page. Talk, talking, talking about tapes.